This video is for Mrs. Heavy Chevy who has asked about getting a pinwheel pocketbook. So, I said, sure, we can figure that out. And she was talking about doing it out of a charm pack. So the pinwheels will be smaller. Um, that's going to take some figuring. But, you know, when she said that, I happened to think of this Catalina, which I made uh, this pocketbook out of, which was the charm bag. Charm pack, or yeah, I, don't know, I can't remember, charm pack bag or charm bag. Um, so that was fabric left over for my granddaughters. I think I had bought the red for something. I probably still have, but that's some of the squares anyway. Um, so I was thinking I could do the pinwheels out of a combination of light and darks in this one. Or two different reds and blues or, you know, doing, I don't know. I could do all the pinwheels in this and the background out of the white. Um, and then I saw this, this charm pack was on sale. This is all blues. And I thought, oh, that would kind of be pretty against the white as well. And this has some really neat blue shades in it. And I could actually do the pinwheels probably out of the two shades of blue with a white background. Um, I could do, I would probably do it similar to this, maybe with the bottom in a solid color, um, depending on how big the pinwheels are. So, I mean, I can still add a solid color uh, to the pinwheels. And I was, as I was trying to find... Uh, these go together. These really aren't the same blues. But anyway, um, this is another charm pack that I bought. And I actually bought this beige fabric when I bought some stuff off Joann's recently. I think it was the orange fabric, actually, that I was waiting so long for to make the pinwheels. Um, and it actually matches quite well. Um, so these are really pretty. I mean, I, I looked at this charm pack for quite a while on eBay, and finally I said, ah, i got to buy this. So, I mean, this has some really neat colors. These are like a loden green, um, almost like a burnt eye this and deep green. This is, starts with a deeper green. Some golds. Almost like a rust, a red. I mean, it's kind of kind of reddish. There's a red. But, I mean, this is just yeah, it's just really pretty too. So that would be nice. So these are your three options right now. Of course, by the time I get around to making it, there could be more options. But if anything strikes you out of these combinations, I was just thinking the blue against the white would just be. Really pretty. Um, or these. I mean, I just I liked these these fabrics too. I thought these were just really cool, cool colors with the white background. Um, I'm pretty sure I've still got more of the red that I used for that. If not, I can always get red. Um, but there's some food for thought. You can let me know your thoughts. Just thinking about it. So I thought I'd let you know.